All right, guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. Today we are doing a review on uh, Roundhouse. the Roundhouse. I don't. I, <laughs> I was gonna insult it, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. Wait, your turn. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know if anyone out there likes it. I do. I think it's fine. I think it's all right, but I can understand why they make it, but I'm not ever gonna get one. Yeah, I so. I can understand it because. Every line has its own, like, revolver. Mm -hmm. And this one, I understand it. There's certain aspects I like about it, but overall, I don't like it. Yeah, overall, if they change, <clears throat> if they chain made, like, a few things differently, this could have been a really nice pistol. Yeah, except as with most things from Hasbro lately, they're just falling short. It's like a little bit short of what the community wants and whatnot. The handle is super uncomfortable. It is blocky and bigger than it needs to be. Yeah. It's wide and t it's it's just in every dimension it's bad. Like we have adult size hands and it's oddly too big and then also the safety is like just at the very end of my reach. Yeah, like it's must... strange because if they're making this for like their their advertised market of like 13 to 14 year old kids, I feel like like, the regular Kronos handle was not too big. Like, they could have just made the exact Kronos handle. And it would have been fine. I don't know why they keep changing in all these reboots, like the Mercury and the... The Mercury, Heracles, the Heracles, like, the they Jupiter. Just, they changed the handle, which is something that I feel like they wouldn't really need to do very much different. No. Like, it's I, just the same. It's just... It's basically a Kronos, but I don't... It doesn't run on Kronos internals. It's basically an Artemis. But, like... But it's lacking slam fire for some reason, which is dumb. Yeah. If they made this thing have slam fire, it would have been much cooler because then it would have had that other thing to separate it between a Kronos. Whereas instead, it's just... So, already, I don't think the Kronos is small enough to holster properly as a secondary. And this is dummy thick. It's, like, thick <laughs> and heavy. I can understand people, like, people who are more willing to carry more bulk than I am. But, like, this just feels way more than anyone would want as a secondary. Yeah. Like, I've very rarely seen people run a Cyclone Shock as a secondary. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is bigger. I wouldn't even... Especially since this here as well, is yeah. your holster would not have to interfere with this, which it might. I wouldn't even run this as a primary, though. Yeah, it, that's so it, it is in a weird sort of category where it's not necessarily, like, good or comfortable enough to run as, like, a decent primary, but it's also not suited well for a secondary or a tertiary role. Yeah, definitely. I just, all of this doesn't need to be here. The handguard, it just adds bulk and weight to it. And personally, I don't really like how it adds to the profile of it all. Mm -hmm. The slide, it's better than the Heracles because it has a closed back. But it's real wide. But it's, it's about, it's like three quarters of an inch wider than a normal Kronos, Kronos slide. Which, I mean, if you just want to put a T pull handle on it, then it's fine and whatnot. But it's just so weird and blocky. Yeah, it's really wide. This is like as wide as I don't I don't know. It's it's wider than a retaliator. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's just a really square thing. Like the the main thing about this pistol is it's big, it's squarish for some reason. And like the capacity is nice as fifteen. I'm spoiled by my Kronos running off twelve stick mags. So I don't really think this is all that worth it when you, especially since the finisher is coming out and that finisher will run off 12 stick mags. This doesn't really have a point. Yeah. Cause like, that's only a few more than what the finisher will get. And the finisher is going to be so much more compact and able to run mags. Mm -hmm. And like, sure, this loading style and whatnot is great for like an Artemis cause you can get six 30 rounds and the Hades is 60, but with 15, this is only three more than running a stick mag, and they easily could have made something here that wasn't just stick mag. Yeah, and they could have done something like that on the <laughs> Heracles. <laughs> they, on the Heracles. And they could have done something like that on just about any any blaster that they've done. Well, but it doesn't really make sense, because if you, if you made this take mags and whatnot, it would be a lot smaller. And yeah, you could basically, cut out basically all of this. Basically the same, almost the same ammo capacity, slightly less. But then you'll be able to reload much quicker because you can run extra mags. With yeah. these, you have to, you <laughs> have to top it off. Which I mean, is okay. Uh, it does a thing that is different than the normal cylinders. It actually rotates uh, clockwise from the shooter's perspective, 
which is cool because for right-handed people, when you're chambering and ready, when you're priming it and chambering a ball, you can really easily see how many you have loaded. But then the issue is if you're right-handed and you're at max capacity and you shoot a few times and you want to reload, in order to reload, you have to open it and then come all the way over here to this side, which is just kind of strange. And like having it underneath is also weird on the Artemis. It was up at the top, which made it really easy. You can just lift the blaster like this and pop them all in. Whereas this, you almost have to rotate your entire arm upside down. Yeah, and it's like, it, it holds three, but the third ball is a pain to get oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> you it's can super see, tight. You see, this is holding three, and this one's only holding two. In order to get the third one in there, you really have to squeeze it in. Like Initially, when I was first playing with it, I was trying to like move these around. And I was like, how do I get the third one in? Mm -hmm. And I found out you just really just have to yeah, I did wrench the same your way thing. in there. I did the same thing. It's super weird. There's only like three things I like about this blaster. I only I like the loading mechanism. I like the jam door because I think that's sort of cool because you can just do a single shot instead. And also I think it looks a lot cooler with it out. It just, and I like the color. That's, that's it so, for me. Let me pose you a question. So basically, if you wanted 15 rounds, instead of doing five tubes of three, if they did had done three tubes of five, it would have been longer, mm -hmm. but... Less bulk. But thinner. Yeah. Do you think that would have been better? Because I think that could have been better. Personally, I think it could have been better too. Because one of the first things I did after opening it was I took off... I mostly took off the front plate just to see how easily it would be to just extend the tubes out. Mm -hmm. Because for how wide it is, it's really short. <laughs> And I think if you lengthened yeah. it a little bit, just to like here, it it would change the looks. Because I personally, I it's this is borderline ugly for me. <laughs> but uh, I mean, so for if you're playing in a stock war, I think this can be like an okay option because a stock Chronos, I feel like this would be better than a stock Chronos just because it has more ammo mm -hmm. and whatnot. So this might be nice if you're playing in primarily stock wars, and also this does have the ability to have a round chamber to run and reload, which I do like, but I don't really like it in this sort of, uh, this execution or configuration. Yeah, this configuration. I don't really like this sort of setup as much as other things. And like, they made the speed load six have slam fire, so I feel they easily could have made this have slam fire, and I think they should have. Yeah, like if this. As it is, it's fine. If it had slam fire, it'd be really cool. And now sure, over time, slam fire the Artemis, it like it's not very good for the internals because like it breaks down over time and mm -hmm. whatnot. But I mean they yeah, still should have just done it. Yeah. And it's just like it's one of those things, like they they could have. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I I don't like the handguard, not just for its looks, but it doesn't make sense to me. Personally, if something is like a top prime and not like a flywheeler, having two hands on the bottom doesn't really make sense because you're going to have to be going up just like all the time. And this doesn't stabilize it all that much compared to like just two hands or just pointing and shooting. There's no recoil to help you control with the need of two hands on the bottom. I think the reason this is here as for a second hand is because of how much weight there is in the front. Holding it here, it's very front heavy. If yeah. you put your hand there, it's very balanced. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the reason they did it, which is like understandable, but it's like, it's sort of a band-aid solution to something that's not really like that big of a problem. Yeah. But they did make a good job to make sure that nobody was going to have any issues with this area here. It was not going to be too cramped. They, were, they made well ensure of that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can fire off a few over the chronograph for you guys, yeah. but firing stock rivals, it gets... It was like 85, 90. Yeah, I mean, it's a stock blaster, a stock rival, and like, we haven't necessarily looked at the internals. It's 93 FPS. 93, like, it, sure, it's your average, average rival blaster and whatnot. And so if you're using it in stock wars and you kind of like this aspect and you want to run a pistol, then sure, I would probably actually recommend this over the Artemis, mm -hmm. personally thing, just because I don't really like the Artemis very much, how it feels, but this still feels gross in my mind. So I I, I don't, I haven't played with this and I probably never will, but I, I just kind of want to know like how long through playing, it'll either 
I'll get used to it and be like, all right, this is fine. Or after a couple rounds, I'll be like, all right, this is done. Yeah. I want something else. <laughs> I just, the, the, the FPS performance is also a little disappointing for me too, because both the knockout and the takedown have performed consistently higher. The takedown, I shot like dozens of rounds through over the chronograph and I hit a hundred plus. And the takedown, I consistently hit 95 to 100. And it's just like, this was, this came out within the same six month time frame as those. And it's just not hitting as high as something with the, the general internals that they were having. Gosh, this makes me think I was too harsh on the takedown. <laughs> yeah. Like, if this is what you're competing with, the takedown is honestly actually pretty good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Takedown was comfier. Take the handle was still had, weird, but it was comfier. Had eight rounds on the takedown? Yeah. That's like that's almost half of what this has, but no. if you guys happen to like the take not not roundhouse. Fuck. <laughs> if you guys happen to like the roundhouse, more power to you. Go out and buy one. They're twenty dollars, which I thought you said it was twenty five. It was twenty five dollars, which was almost enough to keep me from buying it because Man, I could get a knockout. I could get two knockouts for that price, and they both perform better, and you can do more with them. Yeah. This this really is just the role of... Okay. I want... I want... Uh, I want a blaster, but I don't want, like, a really good blaster. <laughs> I don't really want to go with an Artemis or a Hades. I'll go with this Kronos monstrosity. I can picture... So like, I can picture, like, Office War people. Like, yeah, they're like playing in an office war, and they're like, "Ah, oh, I need something nerf." And then they look at this, and they're like, "Ah, oh, that looks like it could be hard." And then, like, sure for them, it'll be fine. Yeah, know. but honestly, I'm not about it. It's so, just better rival blasters. Yeah, uh, we've we haven't looked at the internals of this one, but I've seen the internals, and they are not a Chronos variation setup. They're yeah. not they're not set up like a Kronos exactly, so I don't know about upgrade potential potential. You can probably upgrade the spring and get this shooting harder and whatnot with rivals. But I don't see anybody taking this to make it shoot anything besides rivals because this rotating piece isn't long enough for half lengths. And so I mean like that'd be kinda cool though. That yeah that I mean especially if it was on this side that would be really cool to do some like rear loading and whatnot. Yeah. But it's just not feasible. I mean, hmm, actually, it might be feasible. <gasps> Wait, that could maybe be actually pretty cool. How far does the the breachy dude move? Oh, dude, that could totally work. You could totally make right through there. No, 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 not mad. You could totally you. I mean, you basically say fuck this whole system, but you make a custom, a custom rotating cylinder that holds half length darts mm -hmm. and whatnot, and you could probably change the rotation mechanism so that you could fit more ammo, more rounds in here. Yeah. But then you change the pusher essentially, which is the plunder tube that pushes the ball forward. You change that piece out to be like half inch, mm -hmm. and then you have a 17 second barrel that the half length darts gets pushed into. Mm -hmm. And then you have a half length firing thing. And you could do like rear loading on the sides here, which could be pretty cool. That could be cool, but I and think you could that, cut out a bunch of this bolt here. Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of work because it you're going to have to cut is. out all of that stuff. You're going to have to extend this back a little bit or forward a little bit. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Well, it goes past the clear part at least. Yeah. You're, oh, yeah, you're going to need it. You're probably going to be able to stay within the circle, but. Mm -hmm. But you're going to need something different than this. Yeah. But honestly, if you change out the rotation mechanism to have more clicks, mm -hmm. you could increase the capacity. Like, picture this firing half-length darts with like a 12-round half-dart capacity. Yeah. Reload on the fly, Chronos power. Mm -hmm. That could be pretty dope. That could be cool. I got honestly it. that could be nice, but it's gonna take some work. We're not going to do it. No. <laughs> if somebody does it, that'll be cool. I'll be happy to see that. But I don't think... I don't, I don't have a need for that. Like, that's cool and all, but I don't... If it's easy enough, we might. But probably not, because we don't have a need for it. And, like, uh, I put my uh, rival rebarrel elite connection in this earlier. It hit 155 with a... Um, stock spring. With a stock spring and shooting a full-length FVJ. Hmm. So you guys, if someone does it, 
You can I try mean, it. You can do it and then sell it. I guess. <laughs> but I don't want to do that much work. <sighs> we'll take a look at the intro and see how much work it is. Okay? Uh -huh. Let me Google it real quick. <laughs> You can go ahead and do the outro if you want. Alright. Well... <laughs> if... If you guys... If you guys agree with us, dis dislike what we've talked about... What? If you guys agree with us or disagree with uh, what we're saying... I didn't hear the or. Oh. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, please restart that. that was... if, you, if you guys agree with what we're saying or disagree with what we're saying... Go ahead and tell us in the comments. If you guys liked the video, uh, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we have an Etsy and a Patreon now. We're selling the HMI-R kit along with some other stuff coming soon. It's at, uh, It should be down in the links below along with our Patreon. Um, we don't have too many great packages right now, but we'll be able to do more once we get some more patrons than zero um <laughs> but see you guys in the next video bye